Good morning, Don here once again with my Rules for Christians. This is video number nine, my uh, take on Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life. I don't know if I'm going to be doing 12 of these. I just do them as I think of them right now because Christians need their own rules. And uh, I would say that the rules that Jordan Peterson talks about aren't good. I think they're great. But... Uh, you know, we're living a transcendent life for the gospel, and our rules should pertain to that. And today's rule is act locally. Yeah, that's right, act locally. Uh, so many of us think of you know evangelism and reaching the lost as something where we support a missionary that goes to Uganda. Um, and actually, Uganda is kind of doing a lot better right now, and they're doing very well on their own. Um, they have their own indigenous evangelistic movement going on. In fact, uh, the organization I work with, Child Evangelism Fellowship, uh, we reach more children in Uganda through this ministry than in the United States. Yes, that is true. And it's not because we're sending a bunch of white people over to Uganda. No, the locals are trained to do good news clubs themselves. And, you know, I, I don't know, you know, what people think about evangelism in this country, uh, other than they don't like to do it. But, you know, it's very important to reach people in your community. You know, Child Evangelism Fellowship has over 70,000 good news clubs in over 200 countries around the world. Wow, that sounds like a great thing that's being done. Yes, but it's being done because somebody locally cares enough to do it. We always work with a local church. We don't just send people over there to toil in, you know, in a, in a foreign country. No, we take the locals, we train them, we send them back, they reach their own people. And that's what used to happen in America. Uh, we don't do quite as much ministry here, I think, as we used to. And I believe it shows. Uh, you know, Americans are, American Christians, we're just as much uh, prone to become part of the cult of celebrity. That is where, you know, we see, uh, we have preachers or authors or you know people that we like uh, Christian artists of various type recording artists when we, when we look up to them like ooh you know what uh, those people reach so many people with the gospel they reach that well they're obviously not reaching enough and we cannot just look to them and say well I, I support so-and-so's ministry those ministries are great I have nothing against them or supporting them unless you aren't doing anything locally we have to reach people in our community and not just on the internet. You know, that's why I got involved with Good News Clubs is I do face-to-face -face ministry with children in our local schools and in the neighborhoods during the summertime. So, you know, doing real ministry where we explain the gospel and we counsel with the kids and try to you know, make sure they understand what it is that we're not just bringing up them up in the church bubble so many kids ra are raised up in, where we just presume if they come, they'll just get it. Osmosis evangelism, you know. And it's possible instead to inoculate people against the gospel. That's what I found when I did prison ministry many years ago is that you know, guys had been raised in church in the Christian bubble. They got a weakened form of the gospel. That's how a vaccination works. You give you a weakened form of the disease. So when the real thing comes, you can't get it. And unfortunately, that is what we've done to millions of Americans. A weakened form. A form where you're just a spectator. A form where you just can put on the thinnest veneer of Christianity and you're okay. But no, Jesus came to change our lives uh, individually. Not just that celebrity on the tube. Not just that person you think of as, as your representative. No. God called you to be his representative. We are his ambassadors telling people the good news that, hey, guess what? Your sins are no longer counted against you because of what Jesus did for you. It's that simple. Uh, and more complicated, too. But it has to be done locally, and there's nothing more local than face-to-face. -face. That's what I love about CEF. But there's other ways. I'm not saying this is the only way. But I have a way, so I'll push it. So anyhow, this is Don telling you... Uh, Act locally. 
Think about what can I do personally with my time, talent, and treasure. Let me get my calendar out, figure out where I fit this in, and then make it happen. This is Don. Have a good day.